Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com slash free. As you saw in the previous lesson, you have the ability to edit the individual work availability schedules of selected work resources within your project file. These scheduling changes are made as deviations from a selected base calendar, such as the standard calendar or the night shift calendar, for example. These base calendars are the calendars that you select when initially creating your project file in order to choose a default work availability schedule for your project. Sometimes you may need to create a new base calendar for ease of use within your project file. So for example, you may choose to use the standard calendar for your project file since the majority of your work resources use that as their default availability schedule. However, assume that you also used a pool of part-time people as work resources who only had a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 8 to 5 work schedule availability at all times. Now in this case, you may want to create a new base calendar that you can assign to each resource as they're entered into the resource sheet, so that you will not have to individually adjust each resource's work schedule as we saw in the last session. Now this can be a real time saver as you can select a base calendar directly from the resource sheet view for any work resources that you create, so that way you won't need to adjust each resource's work schedule individually. You can create a new base calendar by selecting tools from the menu bar, and then choosing the change working time command. Now this is going to open the change working time dialog box. This dialog box allows you to change the working time for selected resources or change the default base calendar used for the current project as well as create new base calendars. Now in order to create a new base calendar to use within your project, click the create new base calendar button that's shown within the dialog box. Doing this opens the Create New Base Calendar dialog box where you can then enter the name that you would like to give to this calendar into the Name text field. Note that you can create a brand new base calendar or you can make a copy of another calendar to use as the basis for this custom calendar. So in this case, it might just be easier to make a copy of the standard calendar. And then I would click OK and at this point I can then make the modifications to the calendar as needed. So right now I'm viewing the base calendar that I've just created as you can see it's selected in the four calendar drop down at the top. You can then set any base work weeks to change the default work week as needed. So you can select that default, click details, and then just double check. So here we have a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 8 to 5 schedule. And in this case, we would just click OK when we're finished. Now when you're done creating the calendar, just simply click the OK button to save the new base calendar. Now note at this point, you can select the name of this calendar from the base calendar dropdown whenever the choice appears in your project file, such as within the resource sheet view. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com/free.